Hi folks, welcome back to Outdoors and Country Living. We're gonna collect some squash, uh, just, just small crook neck squash. And then uh, I'll go through here and we'll collect it and then we'll check the zucchini and we have some cucumbers that we'll check as well. What's that flower? What flower? Right next to the cucumbers. Down here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna pull it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, get it out of there. What is this? It says Wagner. Somebody planted Wagner's in our garden. I can cure this. Stay tuned. So I have my Wagner flower that we found in the garden. And uh, in all seriousness, what this is, my mother gave us this to us. She picked it up somewhere at a garage sale or something. I don't know. Somebody had it for a decoration, but it is a Wagner um, cast iron. So I'm going to try to get this thing cleaned up, and then we'll re-season it. So when I made the comment about curing it, I'll, I'll re-cure it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have a bucket of warm water here with Dawn dish soap. This is cold. It's not, not hot or anything. I, I will take this SOS pad or Brillo pad and try to get some of this cleaned up. And then we'll put it on the grill around 400 degrees for a while. And that should bake the rest off of it. So um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get it wet. Uh, we don't care about removing seasoning because that's our intent. I'm going to take this Brillo pad. Try to get off with the loose stuff that's on there. And I have no idea how old this thing is. I imagine it's uh, fairly old. But you can see they'd had some old writing on it where somebody used it as decoration. Obviously back then it was didn't have much value to somebody, but we always try to get cast iron like that and take care of it because we use it a lot, so. Hopefully that heat will burn that flower off of there. That's the bottom, so I'm not super concerned about it. I just don't want it to look goofy. So I'm gonna scrub on this a little while and I'll be right back. Okay, so I scrubbed it with the SOS or Brillo pad and the water with Dawn dish soap. And what I'm doing now is I take some, it's just cheap generic oven cleaner and I've sprayed it and you don't wanna breathe that stuff, it's pretty harsh. And then I'm gonna put on some mechanics gloves so they're oil resistant. You can use nitrile gloves or a kitchen glove or you know something like that, but just something to protect your hands. So um this will go to show you that when you see old cast iron a lot of people think that it's just junk if it's rusty so i have a couple other pieces here um this is an old griswold lid so anybody knows anything about cast iron knows a griswold is kind of a, a you know a, a standard in old cast iron and then here's another skillet uh, it's a t number 10 the 1083 is a number and we have several other pieces that we're gonna uh, go through and cure and i'll get as much of that on video as i can but um, this stuff will be as good as new when we're done with it and I'll have many years of use left. So let me get the scrubbing on this with this oven cleaner on there so you can see that. My hands are wet so the gloves don't go on real well. But my intent is to get this, all this old seasoning and paint and dirt and grime off of it so it can get down to the raw cast. I'll get it heated up on the, the grill. And the reason I do it outside is because one, it's hot. And two is it if there's anything that's burning off, oil or paint or anything like that, it'll be outside and not in the house. So I'll just take out and scrub it around. And I'm pushing fairly hard. I, I just on a plastic table and I put a piece of OSB on it. So a little extra support. But see how brown that's getting? That's a combination of old rust and seasoning and paint and whatever else they had on this thing. And I haven't seen any cracks in it anywhere, so it should still be a good piece of cast. <clears throat> see, that's pretty nasty looking like that. So let me rinse this off. We'll see what it looks like. This isn't drinking water when we're done. See how that's starting to get a little bit kind of a gray tint to it so that's removing all the old seasoning and, and stuff that was on it so um 
I'm gonna keep scrubbing and then we'll come back to you. You guys see all this cleaning up? It's really smooth. I get all this grime off of there. But this should be a good, good pan for frying some eggs. Let's see what she looks like. See, that's getting to be raw, raw cast iron. These old ones, they're really smooth. That's good stuff. You get some of the newer stuff and it's real grainy. You can see the grain texture from the, the sand from the the casting process when it's manufactured, when they mold them. So um, I got a little more work to do and uh, I'll change out my water with some clean water. We'll come back. Okay, so I've been scrubbing on it and I'll let you guys see that um, how smooth this is. You can see the gray, the cast color coming through. So I'm just gonna wipe it off now a little bit and then I'm gonna, we still got some paint on the bottom. I think a lot of that's gonna cook off. Um, so I'm gonna put it on the grill. It's about 450 degrees. I wanna try to get it around 400 so it'll cool down pretty quick. I put some foil in here because I wanna be able to catch the stuff that's that burns off of it. So I'm just gonna set it on here and uh, take these gloves off. I'll get some leather gloves, but we'll let it heat up for a while and I'll keep checking in and let you know how long it's been, okay? All right, we're gonna check on the skillet. So I did raise the temperature up to about 500 degrees. It's been in there about 45 minutes or so. Uh, you can see it's still smoking, but part of that's just the grill itself. So it looks good, looks smooth. One thing I will caution you is always, whenever you're heating cast iron like this, make sure it sets flat. So we still got a little bit of residue from that flour that was painted on there. So I'm gonna set it here and let it cool down some. Um, and I'm gonna, you never put water on hot cast iron. so. I'll let this cast iron cool down and then I'll give it another scrub and then we'll repeat this process, try to get all that burn off there. Okay, we'll be back. Well, this is cooling down in case somebody's curious. I want to show up what the diameter of this pan was. So it looks like it's about 10, 10 and a half. So I don't know if they can call that a number 10 or 10 and a half, but um, it looks good though. It's smooth, clean up pretty well. So we'll let it cool down. We'll give her another scrub and then we'll repeat the process. Now this is cooled down, I'm gonna go through the process we did just a little bit ago. I'll put on some gloves, I'll put some oven cleaner on, I'll get it scrubbed down, I'll rinse it off. Again, this needs to be cool before you put water on it. And uh, I'll get it all cleaned up again and then I'll show you, we'll put it back in the grill or the oven or whatever you're heating up in again, just to make sure that it's all burnt off, okay? Okay, I've got my second cycle on where I've heated this up to, to burn it clean. Uh, looks good, I like the way it looks. I'm gonna take it out again and let it cool, air cool. Uh, the reason I say you don't put water on cast iron is because you can crack it. So just let it be patient, let it air cool, and then I'll wash it with soap and water, and then we'll start getting it oiled up and uh, start the seasoning process. After you get your pan all cleaned up, uh, it's cool, it's clean. You can put it back on the grill or oven or wherever you're doing it for at about two, I'd say 200 degrees, just to make sure all the water's out. And then what I'm going to use is olive oil. I'm just going to take a, a cotton rag. I'm gonna put some olive oil on it and then it's still warm. It's not real hot, but it's warm. And I'm gonna rub olive oil all over everything. And you wanna do it while it's a little bit warm while those pores on that cast iron are open up because as it starts to cool down, it'll draw that into the iron, but we're gonna actually heat it up on the, on the grill. And we're gonna do this a couple times until we get a nice seasoning on there that we're looking for. So just take your, your cotton rag and Rub it all over. I usually do the bottom as well and the sides just to make sure that the whole thing's seasoned um, and the handle because I don't want anything to rust. So let me uh, get this done and I'll show you. I'll just set it back on the grill and probably let it heat for about half hour to 45 minutes. You can see that I got a nice even coat of oil. You don't want it totally saturated. You just want enough oil on there to cover everything. And this, again, this Wagner is really, really smooth. That's why a lot of people want this old cast iron. So. Uh, still in good shape. Let me get it on the on the grill. I'm just gonna set it on there. Actually, I'm gonna move this foil because it's probably dirty. Then we'll let that cook on there for a little while. So once this is cooled down after the first coat, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little more oil. This is actually cleaned up a lot better than I thought it was going to. It's almost like a mirror finish on here. I don't know if you can see it. But you, you don't see them like this. It's rare. 
So now I'm gonna put it back. I got a second coat of oil on. I'm gonna put it back on the grill or the oven or wherever you're heating it at. And this time I got the temperature up just a little bit higher. I'm right around 400 degrees. And uh, we'll heat her up and let her cool back down. See how she looks. Okay, I've got several coats of oil on and I've let it cool down. Um, this goes to show you that if you see old cast iron that's rusty and maybe somebody's painted and uses a yard ornament, as long as it's not not cracked around the rim or through it and busted, um, I would say it could probably be saved. So, so find you some cast iron, get out there, clean it up, and then we'll do some future videos of us cooking with cast iron. We have a bunch of recipes. We use cast iron all the time. So uh, we'll put this one to use as well. So thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe so you can get more videos as they come out. And uh, have a great day. Thank you.